Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Pathologic. Last time, we suffered <laughs> greatly from having to, you know, go around with it, because we lost 14 hours of the day and had to do a whole shitload of stuff, go across the town in just, like, 10 hours. So that was fun. I don't know why I'm being sarcastic. It was pretty fun. But it was pretty <laughs> And now, the Inquisitor is... Uh, I believe the Inquisitor has something for me. Alright. Evening letter from the Inquisitor. Day 9. I've been thinking about what I've learned today. I think I could use your advice. Or pu putting it bluntly, it would help me if you agreed to conduct a detailed inspection of the tower. I can trust the construction was brought to your attention before, one way or another. You have esta indeed established that the walls of the tower provide effective isolation of the disease. Why didn't you elaborate on this possible solution? If you found the construction is too unstable, why didn't you evacuate the children? I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion on the matter tomorrow. Glare Lilich, yes. Anyways, there's something, uh, I forget what it was, but there's something that she, went, that she was here to tell me today. Supposedly. And again, she might be bullshitting me. Last time, she said that she that she had some information that she'd tell me tomorrow. Uh, that was about the source of the disease, which I still don't know. <laughs> that was a couple of days ago. These stupid things. I hate them so much. Alright. <laughs> I'm dead tired. <laughs> you you said it. Bachelor, I would like you to explain a certain important question a point to me. You have a close relationship with the canes, do you not? Yes, I'm quite fond of the canes. The canes will help us, if they are still capable of anything at all, that is, to gather the necessary documents concerning that unusual structure, the polyhedron. Uh, what happened to them, by the way? I don't know if any something has happened, but something could happen any time now. They're a remarkable lot, you know, that have some remarkable family rights. Remarkable is one word for it. They have this tradition for, I think, commemorating the dead when they shut themselves in and refuse to allow absolutely anyone to communicate with them. <coughs> yes, that... That whole stuff actually wound up potentially saving their lives. Uh... Wait, hang on. Shutting themselves in? Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, that, that must be what he was talking about. I'm, uh, what Victor K was talking about. So it would be reasonable to speak with them about the tower before they set about their family tradition? Basically, yes. If you're too late, communication could become quite difficult. That I know from experience. Although I doubt they will tell us what we really want to know about the tower. Just speaking with them is not enough. I need documents. Are they absolutely necessary? Are you joking? How am I supposed to work without documents? Firstly, I need to draw up a so-called Inquisitor's Argument, which will contain documental evidence providing the rationale for my decision. There could be a tribunal, and it's nothing to be trifled with. And secondly? And secondly, that blasted block turned out to be not as dim-witted as I expected. He's taking advantage of my youth and weakness, and has decided to ascertain the validity of my decisions himself, without having a shred of understanding, of course, and of course doubting me from the start. Very well, what documents do you need? I certainly know that, uh, I've certainly had to deal with a lot of that, recently. Basically, I need to know what that structure is. I, I need all documents pertaining to that building. There is probably a connection between its fantastic form and the fantastic events that have taken place. Where could those blueprints be? The Kings surely know everything. Maybe they keep copies of the blueprints. After all, that... 
Chimera, to quote the guy, uh, the narrator in the intro cinematic, was built under their patronage. Let them be the ones to make excuses now. Hmm. I don't think so. Uh, nice spacing there, by the way. I don't think so. That structure is a product of Mr. Peter Savington's wild imagination. I'll speak with him. Clay has taken an interest in the polyhedron. She says it is too unusual to exist. Yet there it stands, no mere imaginary construct. How could she just miss it so easily with, with all the children living inside? Only Peter Stamatip, the architect of the tower, will have the answer to the puzzle. Alrighty then. Let's check on the canes, shall we? See if they're holding up alright. Well, relatively alright. The carcass in the lot classifies as incitement, but we won't be provoked. Who could have done something like that? <laughs> My consciousness hasn't completely returned me yet. I can hardly imagine how must have changed how much must have changed here since then. What's going on with you? This is not how you normally talk. Okay then. Guess that's the end of that conversation. Tell me what you want, and I will tell you. Okay then. Apparently, you don't, I don't recognize him in these chains. Doesn't seem to have changed much. But you, Maria? I heard a while ago that you're apparently in love Her with me or something. Her rescued Grace from Changeling's plots. It's most likely Capella's doing. One blow after another. Clara is becoming a mistress of the earth. A dreadful one, too. She's ruthless and cruel. Fanatics believe her. And she'd happily burn us all at stakes. I can feel this horrible heat with my very skin. Who's the favor of who? The changeling is robbing us of the most precious thing. She's dowsing Peter's genuous. Genuous? Is that an actual word? That's a no, but it is a name, Eric Genuis, a Canadian composer who now lives in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, there. So it's probably a typo. She's tempting him, sowing the destructive seeds of doubt in his weakened soul. Her rhetoric can easily drive him mad. What do you know about all this? She's been trying for a long time now. He sent me a crazy verse letter, a love letter I won't show you. He says he's breaking down, he cannot stand it anymore. Quite a love letter, I guess. But I cannot help him either. The changeling gnaws at him like a worm. This is all Aglaia is doing. She has sent her. I don't... So, so far I have no reason to think that the Inquisitor has even met Clara. Crazy farewell letter. Seems like Eva's history is repeating itself. She believed those who were saying it was me who pushed her to make the final step. People were saying that? Did you believe the one, cla uh, one claiming it was petty jealousy? Either of you or of Peter or of you both that made me do it? No, I didn't. I'm, fa uh, I'm fairly certain she was just not. I fear Peter will die today. That happens. Part of the world will peter out with him. An everlasting, irreparable loss. There has never been and will never be an architect like him. How can I make him change his mind? Tell him that I am turning into a mistress. Tell him that I can feel the scarlet lava. Tell him I am ready to accept it into my womb. Is this some kind of weird way of flirting? Are you- are you trying- are you trying to have- <laughs> Uh, use me as your proxy to seduce him, because that's what it sounds like. Tell him my mother is looking at me now. Okay, that sounds a bit less like flirting. I shall become her. I shall overcome her. I shall build what he had conceived. That is why I'll preserve the tower. Tell him I feel he's with Andre now. Okay. Let's get into the Andre anyway. 
What a weird person. Alright, so a plague bearing rat. Is that a, a rat that bears a plague, or is that a plague that you bears a rat? The only healer here. I hoped that in this particular Inquisitor I would find a friend and not the usual enemy, but no. She has already assigned us a part in her scheme. My heart tells me it's a dark one. I hope you're, you're mistaken. I like Aglaia Lilith. <laughs> Granted, I'm rather. Uh, I'm hardly unfond of you, given that you did save my life and you gave me a gun. But yeah. Uh. The fuck happened here? Nee. Let's establish your identity first. I am Bachelor Dankovsky, an authorized representative of the Inquisitor, head of the sanitary staff. Your company commander should have informed you. Right. So what are you here for? No, oh, you'll be the one to answer my questions, not the other way around. And what authority are you here? Answer, and as you fancy a court martial, that is. We're here on duty, kind sir. You're the offender's friend, then. Or an accomplice? I am on duty as well. I want to hear a full report. Now. Then it should be of interest to you that your friend is to be held responsible for the crime of murder in cold blood of four servicemen. Our informer has indicated that the murderous architect resides in this very house. The, the sentence is to be executed immediately. Now you are going to tell me where the offender can be found. Oh, god damn it. This is about those four uh, serv uh, servicemen that attacked me, isn't it? Well, that, first of all, wasn't a murder to begin with, so... Oh no. Something tells me there's been a mistaken identity issue. Again. Uh, what am I supposed to do? What were you just saying? I see on whose order you are here. Our immediate commanding officer is Captain Longin. <laughs> a commander of the 15th Company. I am sure you are quite fond of working underneath someone with a name like that. He is in charge of investigating the attack on the Flamethrower uh, Corps Sanitary Patrol. Any more questions? Flamethrower Corps Sanitary Patrol. Oh, that might not be the ones I'm thinking of then. So tell me that General Block has no authority over you. He'll be excited to find out. We're going to find the offender sooner or later anyway. We already have tactical data suggesting that one of the offenders is hiding in the ruined building in the central part of town and is presenting armed resistance. I suggest you cooperate in his arrest. Or else. God damn it. Well, this is another fine mess. Uh, Peter's not guilty. He couldn't have murdered a person. Certainly not four people. I mean, the guys... Not, not unless they were truly... Uh, not unless they were truly miserable fighters. I mean, he's... Uh, he's spends his days half drunk on firing, completely addled. I'm not certain he'd be capable of murdering a soldier. One soldier is already bad enough, but a four, he said? So they decided to get rid of Peter after all. What does Andre have to say on the matter? I'd like to hear him boast now of how he cares for his emotionally fragile sibling. I must find Peter before he does anything reckless, like burn any evidence of his work. He must be hiding somewhere in town, but where? Ah. Uh. All right, let's go talk to Andre. Let's see, more coffee, although I haven't really needed to use it so far. It's astonishing. I'm genuinely surprised I was able to get through yesterday without it. Hi there. There's nothing to talk about. I'm surprised they haven't interrogated you yet. But maybe they have. Oh, just the person I wanted to see. You've had quite an adventure here. My knife loves strife. It is a gripe with a type filled with tripe. So tell me, what would be the best? What would be best? Should I drag my little brother over here to always have him by, his side, by my side? Or rather, move to his place? That's... Grief... Uh, uh, Griefies, isn't it? You're talking just like him. The type filled with what? How did you put it? I was actually quoting Grief. He loves this kind of folk say. So it claims it attracts luck to weapons and averts malicious spells. 
Taking lives is disturbing, you know. Anyone who dares to do, uh, do that will get their just desserts. I know that from experience. Whom did you kill? See, my dear brother is seeing pink elephants. He's talking to bottles. The conversation seemed to be enlightening too. He mostly does the listening. And so he got into his head. As far as I understood, he decided that he was at his limit. And wanted to try his luck. Are you... <laughs> he didn't answer the question, which, fair enough. It was a bit... <laughs> it was a bit impolite. <laughs> Is he in a crisis? Let me guess, it started yesterday. He's been getting uncanny ideas. And wanted to pay visits to all his er early um, works. I mean, the ugly ruins, the stairways to heaven that are scattered around the town. Oh, those. Are those finally going to be. N uh, going to have anything in them? <laughs> he said he needed to find the ideal place for something, and I have no idea what he has in mind. Alright, so what about the adventure? He broke loose and ran outside, wild and disoriented, fell across some soldiers. I've been told he had been preparing to leave his humble abode beforehand. Some someone's heard the ruckus. Thankfully, I got there in time. I managed to provoke the royal riflemen somehow, so they started clubbing him, and then... Well, you know me. How many? Three fl flamethrower-wielding freaks, and an officer. I see, I see. What can I say? Well done, Andre Stamaton, you heartless bastard. Why did you leave him alone? <laughs> yeah, I mean, your brother had just been clubbed half to death. <laughs> uh, I approve. I certainly don't disapprove of you. Uh, of you killing those people to defend your brother. That's perfectly reasonable. What's wrong with you? I'll just deal with everything that needs to be dealt with, and that's it. I'm never leaving him again. All our lives, we've been persecuted for being ext extraordinary. As soon as a, as soon as a genuus sets foot out of his house, he's immediately struck by lightning. You must know that. We're birds of a feather, you and us. <laughs> why didn't you, uh, why didn't you abandon uh, any and all business to stay with him? Jesus, this is like. Three typos in just the fucking 10 or 20 minutes we've been playing. Seems like they're getting more and more common. Why don't you take him with you? Why would I? They didn't even know who Peter was and where he lived. He never reported to them, I hope. And even if he did, well, none of them got out of there alive. Okay, we're not further for that. You're absolutely mental. A bull is down. Well, that's one. <laughs> Okay, then. I gotta- f okay, so I gotta go to one of those stairways to heaven, then. So there's one right there. Hopefully that's the right one. It's the closest, but... There's that, and then there's that. I guess one, and then there's that. Um, is that three? Yeah, it seemed to be all three, unless you count this, which is sort of a similar sort of construction. But... All right. Uh... Oh yeah. Well, this is a fine mess. Probably easy, probably easier to sort out than if it had been about. I, I don't know if this, is, if this is better or worse than if he had been framed for the killings that I did. Probably worse. But hey, both were essentially self-defense. I might quibble with that since he wasn't defending himself. Technically, he was meant to else, but that actually does kind of. When is this gonna go away? What? But yeah, defending uh, others is legally speaking self defense. What? 
I said it was an entrance here. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. We got ever eternal fires and entrances that don't exist. Okay then. Uh. Oh. Push right on. Hi. Oh. Oh! He's the, he's the sky! Send me the dark blue flame. I desire to burn down not in earthly, but in heavenly fire. So please, do bring me the spicy spirit. Bring me my smoky, dense, odorous sap. I want to burn myself in twirene. You look like hell, mate. So you've changed your mind to become the master of formations after all? Is this how you want to die? Silence! Listen to my confession. I'd rather confess to you than to her. Listen, and I shall tell you of what I managed to create. When I studied architecture, for the longest time I remained passive and didn't do or make anything at all. Except observations. It always seemed to me that any house is so much more than the walls, a hearth, and a roof. I'm listening, I guess. At last I realized that any building is an edifice, a concurrence of planes, lines, rhythms, and temperatures that can become a perfect vessel for a soul. Not a human soul, no. A bigger one. As the soul that no man can communicate with yet, for it has no shape, cycle, or voice. Saying to an intelligent being? I don't know. Neither did I know or experience the soul back then. I only sensed its existence and loved it in advance. When my passion reached its zenith, I realized I just couldn't live on live like that any longer. I wanted to speak its tongue. I wanted to touch it. This guy has gone completely nuts. Jesus Christ. Uh, Peter, this heat is intolerable. How can you stand it? And how could I stand that which was burning me from the inside all these years? No, no, you're a medical man, a cynical man, a geometrician. You're not a poet. You'll never understand. You cannot see the profound. You fear death. And you don't? On the other hand, obsession does indeed eliminate fear. And so I gradually began to try. I started to design buildings that were not buildings, chambers that people couldn't live in. Everything I thought was either a madman or a joke, or everyone thought I was either a madman or a joke. Only my brother believed in me. He and the few that were privy to my secret, they knew that my designs were not intended for men, but rather for this wondrous soul. What came out of that? Finally, I understand that I was on the right tr I understood that I was on the right track. I, I knew I've discovered an insane but genuine feature that only a lover can feel, and I knew I was striking true. I constructed project after project, but all of them contravened the laws of earthly physics and geometry. Seems like my beloved soul was unlikely to find a permanent shelter on this earth. Why? Chimeras! They are all chimeras! Nobody would have allowed me to even model them, if not for Nina the Wild. Oh, that's when my brother and I met. She married Victor. Went to live here and provided me with everything. The place, the materials, the working hands, and, most importantly, the hearts willing to believe in miracles. What do you mean? I mean that the buildings demand people. Moreover, they demand the people that would give, demand those buildings back. Museum showpieces, models, abstractions, mind games. These are all not my cup of twirene. Nina gave me a whole living town. A town aching and craving to go heavenwards. To the stars. A town desperately hungering for a crown. The crown I've given to it. That's so. I've built it from prisms and mirrors. I've managed to focus them to capture the perfect trick of the light and dream. That's right. I'm a trick master. The ultimate magician. I've focused the aura of magic like a lens focuses sun rays. And now the town is dying. Poisoning my precious wreath, my crystal bud, my focus. So what can your polyhedron really do? I cannot put it into words. It's only been tested by the children yet. If you ask them, they tell you that it brings their dreams to life, plays their games, daydreams with them, transports them into someone else's fantasies. Heard anything about it? I have. But the canes can tell you even more. They'll tell you this is a vessel that can hold the most precious substance of all. The focus of a soul. But even they cannot understand what they've been granted. Neither can I. And I will never be able to repeat it. I'm dead. Well, this is suicide. It is. 
See, I was smart enough to take the designs of my creation to the parting. Give them to me, as a keepsake. Old boy, I'm thirsty, old boy. Bring me five bottles of twirene, and you can have the designs. No one will be able to decipher them anyway. And if they do, no one would build it. Five? Why do you need that many? I'm not planning to drink them. I need them for self-immolation. Go, I'll wait for you. Burning twirene is frightening. Its vapors would exalt me to subtle planes. I'd be a mere pile of ash falling to the ground otherwise. I'd just feed the earth, as the step people say. It'd gag anyway. Oh, damn you to hell. Just don't do anything stupid. I'll have another word with you later. Okay then, Peter has requested five bottles of twirene. With this, he plans to kill himself. The request, however, provides me much needed time to delay. The main thing, of course, is to prevent him from burning his designs. Of course. And the second- and the other thing is to prevent him from burning him- himself. Jesus Christ, these people. Oh. Fucking madmen. Alright. I know there's a few bottles of Twirene over here. Uh... Where else can I get Twirene? Hello. So Reuben is alive. I thought him dead. Oh, he is good. I haven't. I don't know. I wonder. Dying ain't no fun. You ain't gonna pay your way out of the netherworld. Put in some coin there, though. I hear the pay's good. So man starts to wonder. Go ahead, grief. Why wonder? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, fiery. Good. <laughs> At ludicrous prices, but alright. Wait, what? Why is revolver ammo so much more expensive than rifle ammo? That's odd. Eh, it's good for me, I suppose. Well, it's good for me that the rifle ammo is cheaper, rather. Uh, uh, citrus medi uh, med Medisa. No, that doesn't sound right. Hang on, that's not what they're called, is it? Yeah! That's not a lemon, That that's not the term for a lemon, that's a term for a citron! I mean, they're related, but that's not what a- <laughs> The fucking binomial name for citrus is, is Citrus Ex Limon. Not Citrus Medisa. <laughs> what the fuck? What an odd error to make. Like, it's- Seems like something that'll be really easy to spot. All right. I mean, I, an uneducated plebeian, would they want to spot it in as soon as I bother to actually read it? Ah, money that doesn't say has come. Effect yesterday, 245. Died yesterday, 645. Gone missing, 127. Uh, total death toll, 6450. 6, uh, 6450. Currently infected, 538. It all ends in less than three days. Day 10, in which the creators of the impossible take the stage to discuss captured miracles. What the fuck does that even mean? Also, oh, and I... I should have gotten the map from Vlad while I was there, damn it. Yeah, I guess I don't, I don't need a map to tell me that everywhere sucks. Basically everyone that I, that I was bartering with has gone fucking able- Wait, what? Oh, I was wearing these the whole time? What? Since when? Oh, god damn it. God, when did I put those on? What? Must have, must have been before I started this video. I really, really despise the fact that clothes just reduce the durability just constantly over time, rather than when they're actually being used. Eh. Maria asked me to tell you something. She did? What? She'll become a mistress and construct your latest invention. She gave me her word. Maria. Maria is turning into a chrysalis now. Who knows what kind of butterfly will flutter out from it. By the way, Maria is your, your to reunite with now, not mine. 
Okay, then I'll help her, Peter. Do not give up so easily. Come out of the pyre. Um, what am I looking at? Does that work? I don't know. Yeah, why here? Why do you look like this? This place is memorable to me. Memorable to me. It was after making this ruin that I had an epiphany and realized how to erect my tower heavenwards. And the mask. The mask came into my possession after my unsuccessful appointment as master of cremations. So here I am, doing my job. Away from here, Peter. Maria is waiting for you. First, I'll go to my place. I don't want to see anyone in this condition. Too much is burned to ashes inside of me. Too much has evaporated into thin air. I want to drown myself in a new flame. Haven't you had enough? No. Go in peace, Danil. Or give the designs back. Wait, tell me, Peter. What have you constructed? What is it? Have you been inside the tower? I have. It's a multi-dimensional space. It is turned unto itself. It has no surfaces, borders, or bounds. It has no mass. It has no end. You are delirious. The discovery is not mine. I have nothing to be proud of, really. I've stumbled across it by accident. Moreover, I don't really understand how it works. I studied my own calculations inside out. And I still don't get it. Something's off, but what? That is the question. Well, I never. An architect of schizophrenia. Ah, crap. Um, probably ditch these since apparently, uh, apparently no patrolmen at all. Alright then. Well, I got the... What? How? Also, what? What the fuck? What? Okay! I don't... I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand this. Alright, I've just covered the I've recovered the price of designs. I should take them to the quizzer immediately. Alright. Let me see. Uh, oh, okay, I thought they were like chalk. Peter Stavitin's blueprints. Blueprints of the polyhedron lie with tracing paper and containing a detailed description of the structure. Also contains faded written copies of various treatises on optics, some in foreign languages. Give the impression of a standalone monument of human thought. Whatever the fuck that means. Wow, what a creative game mechanic. Just force the main character, the player character to just stand still for ages, incapable of doing fuck all. Incapable of doing anything at all for an extended period of time. Wow, what great gameplay. Incredible. Fuck off. Oh joy, another one of these fuckers. Why is this game determined to make playing it a chore? Every time they see, they try to add some game again, I get just add some more game mechanics to make it harder or whatever, they just make it more tedious. There is an eternal order that fate itself has predetermined. It is due to this order that things happen the way they should, following a preordained path. I'm listening I'm listening to an equal bachelor. I'm I'm listening to an equal bachelor. Here are the blueprints. Hopefully you'll treat them with utmost care. They'll probably become a bibliographical rarity even, even before the author passes away. That's out of the question. From what I know of the author, he doesn't have much time left. A wild lifestyle, heightened anxiety, alcohol and, and hallucinogen addiction, obsessive phobias, remarkable and in, remarkably intensive neural strain, uh, stress. And yet you were implying something else when mentioning his short lifespan. What? No. As you are probably aware, yesterday I took that young man under my protection and averted a threat to him. Admittedly, I also imply that people like him are always in danger. Always. Tell me, 
How long have you known that man? Not that long. We, do you have some less than apparent information about him? Well, his brother... Has he ever told you of the similarities the two of you bear? That you could end up in a position similar to his, and vice versa? That being an inevitable victim of circumstance is the only fate available to a genius? I ask you to be, uh, I ask you to be precise. A lot of things hinge on your answer. That was a disturbing question. No, he never said that. Well, let's take a look at the blueprints then. What do you think? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's a world-class sensation. Yes. That's what you think. Well, I'll have a look. Go now, and only come back here after a while. Preferably tomorrow. Everything is in plain sight. Doesn't require a thorough study to see. All right. Give no heed to rumors and hearsay. These manuscripts and these designs are the work of a restless genius. They are erratic, spontaneous, and incoherent. Hopefully, Aglaia will be able to unpick their meaning. I'm sure there is a deep-seated, rational explanation behind it. Ugh. Behind it all. And you can only hope. Well, not much more to do. I guess I'll just go around. Uh, oh, I guess I should go with the young lad, get a new map. Right, a second. The guy who just murdered a guy right next to you and is currently looting his body, and you don't give a shit. Hey there, Vlad. This town is a monument to several generations. Alright, the map. I'll give it to you for free, but I'm almost completely out of cash these days, and the scouts require pay. If I give them the money today, that will guarantee they'll still have, have a map tomorrow. By the way, the patterns of infection have been pretty whimsical recently. Have they? Hmm, I suppose. So now I've not really got much to do, so I suppose I'll. I suppose say I'll do the rounds and make sure nobody's dying, but I, there's actually only a couple of places I haven't visited yet. But yeah, I'll, I guess I'll do. Let's see, Grace, Aspidy, Sticky. And I think that's it. Oh, and Anna. Well, no, I think I, I passed by her house and there wasn't anyone. I'd prefer if there wasn't anyone near it. Well. Whatever. I'll go visit them. Yeah, yes. There we go. Alright, so yeah, Grace was in fact... Yeah, sick. The, none of the others were, though. There we go. Got a box for the, the children's schmouder. There we go. Some better Grace. I think. Oh, got a headache. Whatever. Alright. I'm fairly certain that's everyone. Yeah. Then I've visited everywhere, every person that can get sick. Unless there's someone in the termitary somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, I've checked up on everyone. And only, it seems only Grace was sick. Alright. That's good. And now... I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with for today. I don't have any letters or any other quests. Nor do I have any leads, so I guess I'm just gonna go and loot some places until I get a letter or something. Well... And until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember... Dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.